on a mission to set up their new home. That's how these three Chinese astronauts describe their task on board China's first space station, the Tiangong, Mandarin for Heavenly Harmony. Their spacecraft blasted off from China's Gobi Desert on Thursday morning. The launch was described as a complete success by the country's space agency. It's the first time China has sent astronauts into space in five years, and the longest manned mission it's attempted to date. The crew members are led by Nie Haisheng. At 56, he's the oldest Chinese astronaut to be sent to space. We'll obey the orders and instructions, and keep calm while carrying out the mission, so as to successfully complete the mission. For three months, they will perform maintenance checks and construction while living in the Tianhe core module that was sent into orbit two months ago. Their mission is the third of 11 required to complete the space station next year. Tiangong joins the International Space Station that has been in operation for two decades. NASA banned China from being involved in the station because of security concerns, and experts say that's caused problems when it comes to information sharing. Well, there's a lack of communication. We don't know what's going on. China keeps its cards very close to its chest. And that means that they've gone it their own way, but they're getting fabulous results. Beijing first sent a man into space in 2003. Since then, it's invested billions of dollars toward the goal of becoming a major space power. China became the second country to land a rover on Mars in May. It was the first to land one on the far side of the moon in 2019. And in March, China announced it was teaming up with Russia to build a research base on the moon within the next two decades. The crew on board the Tiangong are under a lot of pressure. Their mission has begun just days before the Chinese Communist Party's 100-year anniversary on the 1st of July. And the government wants to uphold the country's achievements in space as proof of its success. So there really is no room for error. The astronauts boarded the space station about seven hours after lifting off from Earth. Beijing says the Tiangong will function as a floating laboratory and mark a continuous Chinese presence in space for the next 10 years. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.